Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. Eligible Paycheck Protection Program Expenses Now Deductible. IR 2021-04, January 6, 2021, Washington. The Treasury Department and Internal Revenue Service issued guidance. There's a link to that guidance here. Today, allowing deductions for the payments of eligible expenses when such payments would result or be expected to result in the forgiveness of a loan, covered loan, under the Paycheck Protection Program, PPP. Today's guidance, Revenue Ruling 20, uh, 21-02, there's a link to that revenue ruling here, reflects changes to the law contained in the COVID-Related Tax Relief Act of 2020 enacted as part of the Consolidated Appropriations Act 2021 Act for, uh, Public Law 116-260, which was signed into law on December 27th. 2020. The COVID-related Tax Relief Act of 2020 amended the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Securities Act, the CARES Act, uh, the key C-A-R-E-S Act, to say that no deduction is denied, no tax attribute is reduced, and no basis increase in deni uh, is denied by reason of the exclusion from gross income of the forgiveness of an eligible recipient's covered loan. So this is an interesting change because the payment protection loans, the PPP loans, went out in 2020 to businesses that were struggling during that time period. And those loans could be partially or totally forgiven in certain circumstances. And that would include typically the money from the loan, if you can evidence that the money from the loan was going to be expended in some particular ways. And that would be on certain types of expenditures. And then, the, of course, the thought was that, well, if you're going to get a loan, and then you're going to be able to forgive the loan, meaning it's not really a loan at that point. If it's forgiven, then you got kind of like free money at that point because they were spent on particular items that you couldn't then deduct those items because uh, basically you're, you're spending money that was free money because you got a loan that was forgiven that was spent in this particular way. So that was thought to be doubling up on the benefit if you were then to deduct the items that you kind of use to forgive the loan and now they're saying that that might change now so that uh, you may be able to in essence double up it looks like to me is what this is saying uh, and that would mean that you may be able to use the expenses to basically forgive the loan if you if you spend it in the particular way in accordance with the payment protection loan then you may get the loan forgiveness in other words not have to pay back the loan and possibly get to still deduct those expenses that you needed to spend in that particular way as you normally would as an ordinary business expense which you typically would be able to deduct if it wasn't for the fact that you got you know a loan forgiveness so back to the text revenue ruling 2021-02 obsoletes notice 2020-32 and revenue ruling 2020-27 uh, so let me read that again revenue ruling 2021-02 202102 obsoletes notice 2020-32 and revenue ruling 2020-27. Uh, so they're basically saying, hey, look, this new revenue ruling is now making the other ones uh, obsolete. So this obsoleted guidance disallowed deductions for the payment of eligible expenses, which the payments resulted or could be expected to result in forgiveness of a COVID loan. So in the past, they were basically pushing the other way with these other two, with the notice and the revenue ruling, basically saying, hey, if you get forgiveness then of the loan due to having to spend the money in these particular ways, you don't then get to, to take an expense related to it. And then the revenue ruling 2021-02 may be basically overturning that, making the prior ones obsolete, providing possibly, it looks like, that you could basically get the loan forgiveness with these expenses and then pay basically take the, the expense, which would be a deduction typically for taxes. Okay, so for more information about this, the COVID-related Tax Relief Act of 2020 and other tax changes, you can visit the irs.gov website. That's irs.gov.